All right, welcome back, guys. In this video, we are taking a look at whatever happens between React D and D and React itself, or other React components that you have in your app. And the way we introduced this before, we said there are three things that happen, or three abstract um, concepts here: collectors, your drag sources, your drop targets. And the way these things get communicated to other React components or the way you communicate all of that to your React components is through collectors. Let's start one by one. What are collectors? Remember when I said just in the past, in the last video is that uh, we have a context provider called monitors and that context is providing uh, different props or different, um, diff basically different props or different state that is being influenced by whatever D&D uh, &D events that happened in DOM. Now, collectors are functions that will use the context, the state context that comes from that monitor and turn that into props. And that's why they are, we are collecting the props. So imagine you have monitors communicating what happens from the DOM to React D&D, &D, and then React D&D &D will use that monitor and convert it into a state so it's kind of a state in your context and then you 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 write collecting functions to collect props based on whatever happens in the monitor and you will see when we go to the example uh, lecture that this is extremely intuitive when you write the code and we will jump into it very slowly as well so you can understand everything right now what you need to know is that collectors are simple functions that will turn whatever dnd events that you have and these dnd events are coming from the monitor through react dnd and uh, they turn these events into react props that you later you can use to do whatever you want with all right next up is drag sources so drag sources is very simple these are the draggable components so if you want to make any component draggable uh, you make a drag you make it a drag source by using um, the use drag hook which we will get into uh, shortly and they also carry information the that will be passed onto your drop targets so they carry the item type and they might carry any kind of information they might carry a prop from that component they might carry an information from database they can carry anything so the drag sources are your component and whatever you carry with it you can give it any, any kind of information and that will be communicated to wherever you want to drop it. The last thing is drop targets. And like I said before, they accept certain types of uh, draggable components. So some types can be dropped on some drop targets and some uh, drag sources cannot be dropped on some drop targets. So they, kinda, they can be selective in that sense. And the second thing is that they execute functions based on the in the events. So you can write a code that will execute a simple function whenever you drop um, a target on this drop target or whenever a target is hovering on this drop target or whatever. So that's, that's basically what drop targets are. They accept certain types and they can execute functions based on the events. And this wraps up kind of like the abstract concept between React uh D and react and so far we have inspected what happens between react dnd and react and between react dnd and the dom you now understand what monitors are you now understand what collectors are what drag sources drop targets are item types and where are uh, the dnd events coming from and in very brief summary what you need to know if if you don't want to watch all of it what you need to know basically is that you have uh, the DOM events, the DND events happening at the DOM side, they are being communicated to React DND uh, through monitors. Monitors will convert that into a state that is available to us through a context. And using the state inside that monitors, we use collecting functions that can convert that state into props that we can work around with in React. So that is the very, very, very short summary. In the next video, we will take a look at how you actually write all of this. So we will uh, dissect an API example, and I will show you what are the API elements that you, you need to have and how to use the hooks in React D&D. I'll see you guys in the next one.